So today I woke up, checked my emails and I got my invite come through for Action Tiles. So I couldn't wait to get it set up and I thought, thought I'd make a video um, to show how it's set up and what you can do with it. So that's what this video is going to be today. Enjoy. Uh, today I received my Action Tiles invite. Woohoo! And I'm going to be going through um, the setup of that. Um, and show you what it is and, and how you do that. Um, so first of all, what is Action Tiles? Well, I'm here on the website, so it's something that you can use. Um, you can integrate it with the Samsung SmartThings Hub. Um, and as it shows on this picture, it allows you to create tiles which you can display on a tablet or on your computer's internet uh, browser. Um, and at a click of a button, you can just control um, your devices and your routines, etc. So let me go through to this. So um, this is uh, once you've like uh, registered for Action Tiles, you come to this page, and this is where you can set up uh, your um, panels, as they're called in Action Tiles. They used to be called dashboards in Smart Things, but now they're called panels. So I've already set one up. Let's have a quick look at that. So this is what it it will look like. So here I've got my bathroom sensor. Um, it's telling me my battery for that and uh, it's telling me uh, it's inactive at the moment it's 73 degrees I've got my bedroom light which I can switch on and off here and um, I've got some of my Harmony Hub activities my front door presence sensor uh, living room light my Xbox Harmony activity my phone says it's present Retro Pi switch. Um, if I turn that on, it will tell me how much electricity is being used. Let's give that a go. That should go up. There you go, 16. 1.2 watts. If I turn that off, that will go back down to zero. Um, and the notification popping up as well. My living room speaker, um, a volume at 24%. If I expand on that, then I get this menu down at the bottom. That's really nice looking, and I can just control it through there, set the volume, uh, get it to play, etc. Uh, and then I've got a date with the time, just in case I forget. Um, so that's what it looks like now. The using It looks like they're using um, Google's Materialize CSS for this, um, which I'm a big fan of. It, it looks amazing, and I think it should be uh, adaptive. So if my screen size is smaller, these tiles will rearrange themselves to fit whatever screen it's on yeah really nice i wonder if there's a way to customize that css as well um i will have a look um if i click back now uh da, 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 i'm just have a quick look see if you can edit this not sure anyway let's create another panel so you can see how I did that so go back to my panels add a panel this panel is let's call it test because I've not got much imagination this morning click on add and here we go this says now let's add some tile sets so tile set one that will do hide that on the actual panel display itself let's create that and then it will ask you to uh, add in tiles now the first time you do this you, you click on thing all it said for me was add location um, now I clicked on that and then they, once I did that it asked me to log into my smart things account and as soon as I did that all of my devices and activities were then visible um, so here is a list of everything that I can add so here we have my bathroom sensor motion sensor, temperature measurement, uh, my bedroom light, my Chromecast Harmony activity, my front door, smart sense, multi-sensor, so that, and that, and temperature, living room, yes, in fact let's just study it all, why not? And obviously if I ever change my mind I can come back here and edit that at any time Let's add location continue ah, 
this is just asking me to log into smart things again task set one oh now I've got to do this again set some routines I'm just going to add them all let's add a thing What else can we add? Uh, URL shortcuts, uh, media. So I suppose that could be if you've got a smart um, CCTV camera, you can add that in there as well. Um, or it could be could be anything. I don't think there's any restrictions. Panel shortcut. I suppose this will allow you to flick between the panels. Uh, clock and the blank tile. I'm not sure what a blank tile does, but I've put it in anyway. So that's that one. That's done pretty much. So let's let's see how my panels test. This should load it up. There we go. That is how you do it. It's really simple. Looks amazing. Uh, and it's probably worth mentioning why for me I would want to use this in the first place and um, but I'll talk about that in a second just to show you this is action tiles on my iPad uh, so all I have to do if I want the living room light on is click that turn it on click that turn it off etc and I get the nice notifications at the top as well I can also go into there and set the dim level of my lights as well. So yeah, um, why would I want this? Um, well, it's basically because uh, I've set everything up. I know everything I can do. Um, I know what I can tell Alexa to turn on and off. Uh, but other people visiting the house um, don't always know that. So if I can provide them this, then they can control things through this panel. Um, it just makes it easy for, for everyone in the house to be able to control all of my smart devices. There's only one thing that I've got an issue with is um, this nav bar at the top of my iPad. I'm not sure how to hide that. I would like it so that's not there and all you see is the tiles. Um, I think there's a way to do it. I think you can buy um, of of the app store different browsers um which will automatically hide that bit but i'm thinking of making my own I ios app um to do that anyway and if i do i'll share that with the world um but yeah so this is action tiles i love it i think it's great i'm really glad i got the invite come through today um so yeah if you want it look out for it and get it